All right, in our book, this is chapter 12, section 3. Uh, it's trig functions of general angles. So let's recall a couple things that we have talked here in the past. And right now, most of this is going to be set up going with positive angles in a counterclockwise position. We talked a little bit with our special right triangles how sine of our angle theta will be y over r. Well, if I look at it, like this example is right here. Here's my x and y, some point on this. I make an imaginary or in my diagrams, I'll put this perpendicular and so I see a right triangle. The y value is here. If I were going this point, there's my y value, which is in other words there, but it's also the opposite side of my right triangle. R will be our radius whatever that happens to be, and then I, as you can assume, your x value is going to be there. Being our reference angle, or theta prime, if that's what we're looking for, then we have the adjacent, which will always excuse me, be x, the opposite, which will always be y. So sine of our angle, y over r. Cosine, x over r, adjacent over hypotenuse. And then tangent of theta, opposite over adjacent. If you haven't noticed by now, cosecant and sine are inverses. Cosecant and sine are inverses. So I could say this if I really wanted to. Cosecant of theta is the same as 1 over the sine of theta. And so on with the rest of the trig functions. Or sine of theta is 1 over the cosecant of theta. That's a future setup for some stuff. And again, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, radius over adjacent, or hypotenuse over adjacent, and cotangent, adjacent over opposite, or x over y. Now, if we're ever missing anything, typically r, you use Pythagorean's theorem. You know, from a squared, b squared, equals c squared, to x squared plus y squared, two legs, r squared, and now we're replacing with hypotenuse. So radius will be the square root of x squared plus y squared. All right, so here's what we got going on. Terminal side of an angle in standard position goes through negative 3, negative 4. So there's a point it's going through. Find all six trig functions. So practice. Step one, find r. x squared plus y squared. There's negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared, so 9 plus 16 is 25, the square root of that is 5. So now we know what R is. So now we just start rattling off these things that I'm sure we all have in memory at this point. So sine opposite, so here's my angle, sorry. Opposite would be, or Y, so negative 4 fifths. Cosine of theta, X over R, negative 3 fifths. Tangent of theta, Y over X. Double negative makes it positive four-thirds. And then again, these are reciprocals of each other, so flip it. These are reciprocals of each other, so flip it. And those are reciprocals of each other. So we flip them. And again, missing R. So this isn't a unit circle now that we're dealing with. Missing R. Use Pythagorean's theorem. And we are in business. So, page two. So now, a quadrantal, yeah, easy for anyone to say, quadrantal angle. Quadrants, think quadrants. So the terminal side of an angle in standard position lies on one of the axes or on an axis either the x-axis or the y-axis. So we've got our scenarios here. It could be just a ray.